Hello, good evening. Welcome to State of Affairs Live on GH1 TV. My name is Nana Abba Anamwa and it's a Friday. Of course, we all say thank God it's Friday. For us here, we are happy to introduce our maiden edition of Constituency Watch. And today we are beginning with Ningo Pram Pram Constituency. Why not? And uh, tonight, the two parliamentary candidates, Sam Jata George and Sylvester Tete, will battle it out here. They'll give us reasons why they should be voted for. So if you're a voter based the Ningo Pram Pram, you should tune in and find out why you should vote for either of the two. Well, that's just by the way, and so Constituency Watch will come your way in about 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's take a look at some stories. The acts of some public officials have cost the country uh, over 250 million CDs. This was captured in the 2014 Auditor General's report. One common irregularity which ran through the books of all MMDAs was the unlawful payment of salaries that cost the country over 11 million CDs. At the Ministry of Agriculture, the report revealed that 50 different staff from the various management units were paid over 117,000 CDs. The report further disclosed that under the former GIDA program, now the Youth Employment Agency, 126 persons were unduly paid over 895,000 CDs between November 2012 and December 2013. Communications Minister Dr. Edward Omani Buama says the current public discussions and outrage over the era laden 59th Independence Day anniversary brochure are signs of nation building. Dr. Buama, uh, who, was who has now uh, assumed responsibility for the Flagstaff House communications, in a Facebook post uh, today thanked Ghanaians for commenting on the matter. The brochure, among many era, referred to Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta as the President of Ghana, the boss of the information services department francis arthur who was in an acting capacity has been fired over the issue but pressure group occupy ghana has threatened to go to court over the matter unless it is furnished with the names of the companies that bid for the brochure in other news now, filth in the city of Accra persistently remains a major headache, especially in areas such as Nima, Mamobi and Agbogloshi. This the public relations office of the AMA attributes to individual indiscipline. As the rainy season approaches, the AMA is cautioning the public against littering. Joseph Armstrong Gold Alugbe filed this report. Accra annually battles with sanitation-related diseases like cholera with the onset of rains. Despite continuous public awareness campaigns about the consequences of insanitary practices, public attitudes remain unchanged. This is the Agbobloshi market in Accra, a major hub for the wholesale and retail of foodstuffs brought from the countryside. Located by the Odor River, the market regrettably doubles as the powerhouse of filth and stench in the city. Inside the huge open water body, one can see all sorts of solid waste. Traders here do brisk business, oblivious of the filth. They should come and clean because we pay for all this, and they have to do it. Or, but you know they have to do it. Or who are they expecting to do it? Because of this gutter, when first one buy fish, because of this gutter, they can't buy the fish. Yeah, it's too much dirty. Ama is a regular customer here at the Agbogloshi market. I think this place is not a proper place for you to come and shop. But just that, uh, when you come to this market, in fact, you get everything one at a cheaper price as compared to the other markets and then secondary you can get everything from a to z everything you can get that's why we choose to come all over this place so what is the ama doing about the situation the problem that we had last year in fact if not for engineers and planners who came in to do some work it would have repeated itself in October when we had that rain. AMA is now in charge of two dredging machines. If you go into the Kole Lagoon now, you will see that they removed part of the, I mean, they removed the debris in part of the lagoon. 
Now, outside Accra now, uh, the, a visit to the Kwewu Mountains by the State of Affairs team showed that the Dewu Tiko is still highly used. In the area, taxi drivers up the mountains attribute the excessive love for Tiko to its durability and low fuel consumption. Sangboki Tete reports. Dewu Tiko, a brand of hatchback vehicle popularly used in the 1990s, has not faded out of the system in Ghana as people up the Kwewu Mountains still hold it in high esteem. It is the main vehicle used for taxi here. Though most are rickety, drivers say the Tiko is durable and has low fuel consumption. Mostly, no, I have no turn a twin bipon. And a very smart car. The Tico is good for the mountains. It is a strong car and its fuel consumption is also good. The Tico is good for our area. During the Easter period, we use the Ticos to transport people to the paragliding center. The challenge, however, is the bad road network. Although I didn't get to riding one, I would when I next visit with EIB this Easter. Well, so if you feel like getting a ride or in the tickle, well, you know where to go. It's definitely cool. In some business news now, Star Life Assurance has introduced an electronic payments platform to ease payments for its customers. The company, which aims to grow its customer base from 600,000 to 1 million, hopes the internet payment platform will bring convenience to customers. Star Life Assurance emerged the most customer-based organization and best in customer service in the life insurance sector for 2015 at the fifth Ghana Customer Service Awards. The company partnered Empower, a leading electronic payment service provider, to handle all payments through credit and debit cards, as well as mobile money on various networks. Uh, customers have to register by going on the website of Star Life and thereafter make payments for their various policies. Well, we've got Constituency Watch coming up right after this. Okay, so those were the facts about the Ningo Pram Pram constituency. And of course, we all know very well that seat is considered a safe seat for the NDC. But there's a certain Sylvester Tete who is determined to wrest that seat from the NDC. And then there's a new kid on the block, Sam George. He calls himself Jata. He is determined, well, he did it. He took it from E.T. Mensa. But he's determined to keep the seat for the NDC. Tonight, both gentlemen are with me. Sam George, it's good to have you back with us. Pleasure. Pleasure. Always pleasure to have you. Two and weeks. Two, two weeks in absentia. So good yeah, to be back I here. know. I know. We know what happened last week. But I hope <laughs> it went well, that meeting you talked about. Uh, well, inconclusive, but in it's at least still on a, it. a bit of progress. An effort was made. Yeah. Okay. And then Sylvester Teta here, uh, who's representing the NPP, and he won that seat by popular acclamation. Sylvester, congratulations and welcome to the show. Thank you. No Hopefully no. this won't be your last. Certainly not. Okay. Do you two know each other, though? Absolutely. He's my cousin. You are cousins? <laughs> but I never saw you once speak to each other. Oh, we did. We did when we, before okay. we came on set. So, so how, are you, how are you cousins? How? Uh, well, uh -huh. Nana, uh, Sam is my younger brother. Okay. Come from the same home. You know, in Ningo, it's a traditional area. Okay. I mean, we are from Soundsea clan. So, so you know each other very well? Yeah, like, well, I, I didn't know some till uh, 2011, there about. Okay, so you've known yourselves for a while. Okay, and you're going against each other. How does that make you feel, Sam? Well, it was a contest. Yeah. And so for me, um, the bottom line is my allegiance is to my political party. I have a job to deliver for my political party. My allegiance also lies with the people of Ningo Pram Pram who want a certain style of leadership, mm. which they have shown since 1992, 
and they want continuity in that vein, which I represent. And so, basically... You are assuming they want continuity? Absolutely. Or they told you in confidence that they want continuity? I have interacted with the people. I've spoken with my people. I I'm sure they've spoken they to you too, yeah. and they told you they want, they want change. No? Well, it's because he's had they want continuity of late on all his platforms. All he does is say that he's coming to continue the good works of Honorable E.T. Mensa. Ah, is he helping you to... <laughs> well, okay. Well, well. I you are preaching change to, the, to, to your people, or you are also preaching continuity? We're preaching total change. Total change. Yes. You okay. see, Ganaba, what he just said, mm -hmm. for me, uh, I think that Honorable Yiti Mensa, for nothing at all, for the fact that the people keep voting for him for, he's going to serve for 20 years. It means there are certain things he's done that they are very remarkable that need to be commended. And mm -hmm. these are things that I still have started there. If I become the member of parliament, and which by the special grace of God I'll be, I'll continue. And, 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 and he won't? Well, for, for him, in less than five months ago, mm -hmm. he was specific on Assembly FM. That Honorable Yeet has not done anything for the people. The only thing he's done is that he's, he buys them drafts, cards to play. So this is where he's worse. So for me, I don't think there's anything wrong for me to say that okay. the good works of Honorable E.T. Mensa, I will continue. Is, 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 is the Honorable E.T. Mensa helping you to no, campaign? Is he, not a is he, of my party. I know, but is he in any way supporting you? No. Not at all? No. He I hasn't given, given you a track? No. A, a pickup? A pickup? Yeah, he hasn't, no, no, he no. hasn't aided you in any way? I don't even have a pickup in the constituency. Mm. He knows the car I drive. Mm. I don't have one. Okay. So, I mean, Honorable Yee Timesa is an NDC member of parliament. Mm. And he remains a member of parliament until 2017. And for that, I respect every elder in our constituency. Okay. He's a constituent. He has a vote. Okay. If he should change his mind to vote for me tomorrow, praise be to God. Okay. But today, I have a structure, I have a team, I have my party executives with me. We are campaigning. And we are focused on that. So for me, I, I don't think for the, the job that uh, I go around to say the good works of Honorable Yeti Mesa. And who will not continue anything remarkable in this uh, uh, country? Okay. So All for right. me, that, that job is... Okay, well, let, me, let, well, let me come Abba, to some jobs. Let me just Did respond. you say that all he's done was to buy them uh, uh, draft uh, and what? Spa? Well, uh, I think, I think, I think Asempa is a public radio station and... Mm -hmm. Whatever I say on that it's platform recorded. is recorded and is a matter of public opinion. I mean, um, the two, just two things I'm going to say. First and foremost is I want to ask Sylvester when he realized that Honorable E.T. Mensah had done very good things. He said he got to know me in 2011. That's because in 2011, I was a key element in Honorable E.T. Mensah's internal party primaries. And in 2012, I was a key figure in the main campaign against Sly in which we beat him in the elections and so he got to know me the things he said on the platforms the names he called honorable et mentor in 2012 they are matters of public record and you see the what people were some of, of the names do you remember oh he, he spoke in dangme he can no more pewe no ko kajibene no more bahinsion e pewe no kake e chongo no kake ne pe exactly i mean and the people of ningo pram pram who are watching Remember 2012. It was just four years ago. They remember, the, or, th or even three years ago, four years ago. Not yet four years, about three and a half years ago. They remember the things Sylvester Tete said about Honorable E.T. Mensa on the show, or, or, or on the platform, on the road show mm. during his campaign. And so if he sits here today and tries to pontificate and say that there are good things about Honorable E.T. Mensa, thank God he's come to see the light. However, talk is cheap. I'm throwing a challenge to him. Our viewers, our, our constituents are listening to us. He should mention two good things that he says he's going to continue from Honorable E.T. Mentor. If he's talking about, because you see, he says that he represents total change. That's the, that's the, that's the, the, the contradiction in his submission he just made. He says, I represent total change. Then he tells you in another breath, he's going to be continuing. You can't represent total change and talk about continuity. Change well, and if, continuity if what the are parallels. Has done is commendable. So then he cannot say he represents. Then he cannot say I represent total change. Mm. Do you get the point I'm making? Because the, the, well, the, 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 the two parallels. These mm. are two parallels. You say you represent total change. Then you come back and say there's a good in the person who you are talking about a total and complete change from. I mean, that is the hypocrisy on the ground. But I want to hear two things. The people of Ningo Prom Prom are listening. That he's, he's going to continue on the Honorable E.T. Mentor, which he thinks are good, which he also admitted were good in 2012, except he's just come to see that realization. Then he should admit that, okay, in 2012, I was naive. I was ignorant of the good things Honorable E.T. Mentor did. Four years later, I'm older, more matured in the game. I have now learned and seen 
in four years, what Sam George may have seen previously and backed Honorable E.T. Mentor, he should tell us what he has seen and what he will continue. Then we'll take him serious and okay. not take this as cheap let's political give, talk. Let's give him the chance to uh, talk about that. Na, uh, uh, Nanaba, yes. the good people of Ningo Pram Pram are watching. Mm -hmm. Go to their constituency and find out about who Silver Statete is. I represent humanity in service. That's what I tell the people. I'll serve them in humanity. Let me tell you something. He's saying that what I said in 2012. He couldn't tell you one thing I said, except to say that no, said I said, no, said listen, listen, nothing. listen. Except to say that uh, I said ET means I didn't do anything. He should mention where I said that. Let me tell you something. You met the people I, I in, you specific. met the people please, in please, the Apostolic please, Church please, in please, 2012 please, in the lead up to please, the campaign. You please. had a meeting in the Apostolic okay. Church. You made that comment. You, made the venue you repeated comments. the same please, thing in the Methodist please. Primary School. All right. These are facts the people of Ningo know. Okay, thank you. Had you had your time. You. My, my, my sister. Yes. My sister, please. We ran a campaign. When we're talking about the insult you heap on Honorable Yeti Mensa, and give me one. NDC constituency chairman, please. Wait, please, one minute, please. one minute, Sly, please. Sly. Before, no. we come, before we come before we come to the there. things he said, did you comment, um, you, you just commended Honorable Yeti Mensa. I said, no, listen. Did you say yeah. that on a campaign platform in 2012, when you were campaigning against Honorable Yeti Mensa? No, go you, find out. Did you, I yes said, or no? I said, mm -hmm. It would be wrong on my part to say that Honorable Yee Timmons has never done anything for our constituency. Go and check my records in the constituency. Go and check the publications. Look, you can go online. Mm -hmm. A lot of publications about me and the position I took at the time. I said in 2012 and today is still relevant that if for nothing at all, Honorable Yee Timmons has held two traditional areas for close to 20 years. That's remarkable. He know how to deal with the chiefs. He's brought peace among the rank and file of our people. That's remarkable. I've always said that. And I stand by it. Okay? These are things I said. These are matters of public record. After their constituency elections, what are the issues in Ingo Pram Pram? Go there and find out. Please, don't go there. The issue of conduct and the way we treat people in that constituency. Don't just come on radio and lie. Honorable Yee is still alive. The constituency executives of the NDC, they are all there. The elders in that constituency are still there. What are they saying about you and your conduct? You don't come here to say that I have said that, whatever. He has done certain things that are good. And of course, like, I've asked him to mention two. two. I, 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 no, he's not mentioned two oh, things. He please. has, actually. Uh, keeping the, the, the traditional area together. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's that's so, comments so, 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 so that is something. Did he admit to that in 2012? Absolutely. He said he I said that in 2012. Okay, but you didn't say anything otherwise when you went to the Apostolic and the Methodist I Primary School he it, mentioned. That, that, that's a palpable lie. You see, if you care to know, Methodist Primary School, I never campaigned there in 2012. Very well. You never Please. did. I never went I'm, to that I'm primary school. I'm glad because the people who are watching, who Please. sat in those meetings, I wasn't in do Methodist know. Primary School. All right. so we'll he go doesn't back. even we'll know. Go back. Okay. We'll I go wasn't back ever okay. in. Look, All right. if he cares to know, Apostolic Church, that is mm -hmm. where I church. All right. I go there more often. Okay. So please. But you campaign and there. one person, go to the constituency mm -hmm. and Ask them about who Silver Statter is. When you talk about humility, I'm careful my choice of words. The chiefs are listening. People are watching. I'm very careful with the choice of words I, I, I use. Mm. So for me, politics is not the end of, 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 of life. I have always said that, look, I can't solve all the problems in Ingo Pram Pram if I have four, eight years term as a member of parliament. Of course, people will not be totally happy with my leadership style, just as it happens everywhere. There are things I might have done if I become an MP that somebody will come and continue. These are things that you can't run away from it. These are facts. You can't run. Go down and ask people what he... For me, this is not about Honorable Yeti Mensa or about me or about the MPP. And people should get it clear that Honorable Yeti Mensa is not supporting me. He's not declared public support for me. Why, but I'll be why, happy. Is, he, why is he belaboring that No, point? but I'm I don't telling you because this is a this subject this, of discussion no, please, here. Please, it's not. You don't tell uh, well, me. You don't tell me. When, you don't when, ask when, me what when, to say. When old dry bones are mentioned, old ladies tremble. Let him make his point. Well, you suspect Honorable Yeti Mensa is supporting him. Sam, you make public comment. There are a lot of issues out there. But please, we are not here for that. We are here for our constituents. Right. So if you had your time, let me speak. So don't just interject me and to say that uh, when dry go bones are make your, Go on and make your point. Nanaba. Yes. Ningo Pram Pram. Mm. So dear to my heart. Okay? Ningo Pram Pram, so dear to my heart. And for me, I think that uh, it's about time that the people get a selfless, humble, dedicated leader to serve us. It's about Continue. time. It's about time. Now, Honorable Yee Ti Mensah was not selfless? selfless. When no, you say it's about no, time. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's no more in the picture. Don't bring him. But you said it's about time. Yes. For me, 
there's a new dynamics okay. in the constituency now. Okay. Honorable Yeti Mesa is not in the picture. So we are not discussing him. A leader must be selected for our constituency. No two ways about that. Mm. So that leader must be humble, respectful, dedicated, visionary to the challenge of our constituency. Look, who say that for 20 years we still have challenges? There were many challenges when the ET started in 1997. Of course, those, some of those challenges may still persist, but it doesn't mean they are all still there. And tomorrow, new challenge will emerge. That is why you need a dedicated, visionary, respectful, humble leadership. And that's you, in your that's opinion. Same okay. at that so for me, there are a lot of challenges in that. We'll come to the challenges we'll very soon because I, I have enumerated a number of them. So let me tell quickly, you something. Quickly, quickly, let, let, so me say, let me say this. Stop, stop. Let me say this. No, no, no. The context in the 2016 elections in Ningo Pram Pram, it is not about NDC or about the MPP. It is about leadership, the choice of leadership for the good people of Ningo Pram Pram. And that I'm very clear in my mind that the good people of Ningo Pram Pram will make a choice, and the choice will certainly be Sylvester Tete. Absolutely right. Thank Abba. you. Sam George. You see, it's interesting when my brother says He says, says he's that humble, selfless, respectful. It's, 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 Are these things it's, qualities it's, you do not have? Well, I, I'm not going to sit here and sing praises of my qualities. I'm going to leave it to my people down there, the people who will vote, the people who will choose their leader to determine who has those attributes or not. I'm not going to self, self praise, sing praises of myself here. For me, my people know what I represent. They, they know the fact that for me, it's all about delivering on promises. It's all about speaking <laughs> to what I can do and what I can achieve and transforming the lives of the people there and transforming Ingo Pram Pram. However, one very critical thing that was said here by my brother is that he's very careful the words he uses. And so he chooses his words very carefully. That's what he said in reference to the things he had said in 2012. But just here on this platform, he's shown you that that is not entirely correct and truthful because he tells you that it's about time we get a selfless leader. We all understand the English language. When you say it's about time, it means that previously or hitherto, it's not been there. It's not about whether we're discussing honorable achievements and now or not. It just says that and, and any people or any, any group of people or nation that do not know where they are coming from <laughs> cannot determine where they are and cannot ever have a future of where they are going to. And so we cannot discuss Ningo Pram Pram without our past two MPs and their contributions to our forward march. And so if you say that, we should forget about them. They're insignificant in this discussion. And so they don't play a role. And in another breath, you want to say that you want to run on their successes. Then that, again, is another hypocrisy at that's, display. That's, 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 but then coming down to the point here, if you say it's about time, I will put on record when it comes to selfless leadership, when it comes to visionary leadership, we have had it in our constituency. We, if, if any of the two of us emerges, it's not going to be about time. It's going to be about us continuing a legacy for our people. Because I will not rubbish our previous two MPs, Honorable B.B. Cabo and Honorable E.T. Menta, and their immense contributions for 24 years to the forward march of Ningo Pram Pram. That said, coming to what the people are going to be voting for, again, it is very naive, politically naive, for you to say, that it is not about the NDC and the NPP, then you should be running as an independent candidate. Oh, yeah. Okay? Well, that's that, that, that you know, that that no, I mean, he said it. He said <laughs> it is not about the NDC and NPP. It's about leadership. Fantastic. You cannot take away the political parties that we represent. And that is why on the ballot paper, you're going to see the insignias and symbols of our parties even before you see us as candidates, because it is the party that we stand in, whose stead we stand. And so there again, he doesn't get the whole picture. But then the point here is this. What are the people going to be voting for? Somebody who promises and delivers. Somebody who has built a track record of saying, I will do X and delivering on X. I don't go around and make promises that I can't keep. I made promises to the people. I delivered them. Recently, a sister media house ran a very touching story on the situation and plight of the people of Mango Chunya and Ningo, and Ahuyam in the Ningo traditional area, when it has to do with water and the issues of water. Clearly, I have gotten intervention from the, 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 the Ghana Water Company, which is on the ground at the moment, which has the pipes that have been laid, the new pipes that have been laid all the way to Ahuyam, okay, and is, 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 is awaiting commissioning to get the water flow through that pipe, those new pipes. So that is your wild, evidence base. Wild <laughs> evidence base. You know, I, I spoke to you this All morning right. <laughs> on, on Twitter. Apart from that, the people have had their traditional ways of storing water, which is damming 
a particular league. Because you're yeah, introducing now, me to the first challenge. <laughs> yeah, that but, we're uh, I mean, about. I mean, What's we'll come the there. We'll come there. We'll come okay. there. You know. But for me, the thing is, I promised the people four weeks ago, I will deliver. In Ahiam, the last time that that dam was dredged was 42 years ago. Why are you delivering it? There is an MP. There are authorities <laughs> in the constituency. Why are you taking because it? Because now yourself? I am. I am the candidate. You're using I am it. the candidate. You're, you're I am using, going to augment. You're being opportunistic. The How am I being opportunistic? I'll be opportunistic if the MP carries out an activity and I go and stand there and want to take credit for it, even though I will be entitled to do so because the MP has not executed that project solely out of his pocket, but on the vehicle of the NDC. Mm -hmm. And it is that same vehicle I represent, the NDC. And so I, will, I have a legitimate claim to the achievements and track record of not just the MP, but the district chief executive who are delivering under an NDC administration. So I have a legitimacy to claim that. But even in this case, I am not being opportunistic so how, because how, these how, interventions are solely financed by myself. Because I was going to ask you, yes. you're not abusing your, your, your position as uh, well, I went, I went, I went, I went, and when, when it came to dredging the, the lake, mm -hmm. I rented an excavator, mm -hmm. I rented a bulldozer. I rented four trucks All and two pit money. loaders and bought diesel with my money for 22 days <laughs> to dredge two of those lakes. And today, we're waiting, as soon as the rains, and when your, your camera crew came into the constituency, they saw with the first rains that water started beginning to pile up in there. So for me, it is not an, about promising people. It's not about giving people freebies. It's not about giving people the very basic, basic things that they can achieve for themselves. It is about delivering on the things okay. which the ordinary people hitherto cannot deliver on their own. Okay, let me give Slide the opportunity to talk about the water challenge. You knew about this water challenge you talked no, no, about. Why did you not intervene? No, no, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You, you, see, can, answer, you can tell me later, but answer my no, question. No, but first. he made some. Uh, uh, I'll let you go back to that. that. Some erroneous impressions that I have to I, I'll let here. you correct that. I said, but let's talk about the I water said first. the elections of 2016. Why so you don't decide what to talk about? No, but let's no, talk no. about the water. I'll let you. No, Sam doesn't understand the water problems in Ingo Prampram. He doesn't? He doesn't understand it. How? He doesn't understand it. Look, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. From Ahriam mm -hmm. to Konika Blue, okay. there are so many communities that are in dire need of water. He should ask himself, why is it that when President Kufo was in government, the, under the MPP administration, 64 communities under the three district water projects, they gave them portable drinking water, right. pipe on water. You should find out why has the water been rationing these days that the people don't get free flow of water. There's a problem. What's the problem? The problem is that the booster station at Dawa is too small. Okay. Okay? And then at Aveim, the source of treatment of the water, it, the quantity they produce has reduced, has so gone down. you the poor Please. foresight of the NPP administration that did that project. Can Jesus he make Christ. his point, Sam? Jesus Basically. Jesus he was very Christ. quiet when you were He wasn't. Jesus Christ. He wasn't. Jesus Christ. Let Jesus him make Christ. his point. Sly, go on. <laughs> Uh, Look, it's been over 15 years. Population has increased. Of course. So you don't say that it's still, uh, it will still be the same. Go and find out why they are not meeting the daily demand of the people. And then the booster station at Dawa, okay, it is too small to pump the water to all these communities. Now, it is true that some had gone or had attempted to dredge some dams at uh, attempted or yes, he has he's done attempted. it. He should go back and listen to the people. He's created more problems than it was before. This is what they tell you. Look, my goodness, my dear sister, go there to the community and talk to the people. Look, I was at uh, Mango Choja. This okay? is your constituency, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's I where the dams have dredged. Okay. So is that, that a dredging? That holding water. Is that a dredging? That has started holding it. water. Is that a dredging? Look at what it. Do you realize like? it's beginning to hold please, water? Please, please, water please, in there. please. Let me tell okay. you something. Okay. No, 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 let me, no, no, let me tell you something. Okay, let me sorry, tell you something. Slide, go on. I had a program, mm -hmm. your health, my concern. Right. I go to communities, I do screening, okay, and I offer medication to assist the people. I was at Mango Junior, to be specific. When I got there. That's the area with the water challenge. Yes, that's not the only place. The entire Ningo area, when there's drought, there's a problem. Okay. So when I went there to do my Your Health, My Concern project, then the community came to me and told me, Honorable, we have a problem. The problem is that we are challenged. Our dam is dried up, but the dam is almost full. We need to dredge it. What I told them, now look, there are about 16 communities that are in dying need of this project. I can't say I'll dredge the entire dam for you. Get the community together, get some resources, I'll support you. But first of all, you need to get a professional to assess the uh, situation of the dam. When I left there, the next day, I heard my brother went there. They took me to the dam site to inspect it. And I saw that this is a technical 
job to be done. You can't just put excavator there to say you are dredging. Look at the havoc it's caused there. But so, so initially, let me ask you, Sly, initially, yes. was it holding water? Obviously, it, it was if it rains, dry. if it rains, obviously it will hold water. Even if when it was not dry. What it used to be before the it would dredging have still, that some had still done. Water. It would, would have still held water. Held water. No problem with that. You know why? Just because if it holds water today, because the, it is not too deep, it dries up quickly. So now it's deep. It's not. No, it's but not. You, you can see it is not deep. You can see it. It's not deep. No, no, I cannot tell if it's deep because I can see water. This is a technical job. When I went to the community, when I went to the community, so this is what they told me, and I advised them. I advised them. I gave you that amount of time. Please, I advised them. I know you have. They came to me after this thing has done. They came to me. Now look, it is more problematic than it used to be. What is the problem with this? The problem is that you see, you need a bulldozer to pull the thing. I mean, this is very technical. I'm not too experienced in that. Absolutely. But from what the local people had told me, okay. I mean, the job had not properly been done. Mm. And he knows it. But that's by the way. I'm very honest with my people. This costs a lot of money. I can't afford to do this for all the communities there. And if you do one in community A, there's a problem in community B. I can't promise that I'm going to do this for you. What I told them, get yourself together, get some money from the community. I will assist you to do that. And that is leadership. What well, form of assistance were you going to provide? Of course, if you go to the community and it maybe costs 200 Ghana CD to do, my widows might. Honestly, maybe one CD. Support you with it and get it done pro properly. Mm -hmm. That's what I told the people. So let me tell you something. The issue of water, we all know over the years, it's very difficult because it's closed by the sea. You can't do uh, uh, the borehole and the rest. Right. These dams are quite essential for us. But there's a problem. Because... Uh, the Aveime water is not flowing regularly. The people fall on it. It comes with its own attendant health issues and all that. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, what he made an impression, he created an impression that he's gotten an intervention from Ghana Water to lay pipe up to him. Look, this is a contract awarded some uh, 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 years back under the NDC admin to expand the water from Kwong mm -hmm. to through Ningo. Originally, because the Trade District Water Project got to him. This side from uh, Dawenya up to Ningo. Yes, the contract. So what he said was, an, was a palpable That he truth? personally got an intervention to get the pipes laid there. It is untruth. It is untruth. Okay. That is untruth. So when he's talking about he's a person who delivers on his promise. In 2010, when the NDC came Actually, in. Actually, he said he doesn't make promises. He goes let me tell him. I will, let me remind him of one. Okay. At the Presby Church at Old Ningo, he asked people to put their names together. They are going to be trained in oil and gas. The names are still there. We'll come to jobs. We'll very come to that. The names are still let there. Me, so, me, 2010, for, how many years? Are? Six years. Let me, I have questions for Sam. Sam, let's talk about this uh, dredging you have done. Um, just like Sly, I don't have a technical eye That's as well. Boring. So, But he, he seems to think that it's, uh, it's a sorry job you have done. Well, I will not and, claim and, to and, be... And the people are complaining that you've actually worsened their woes. I will not... Well, first and foremost, Sly doesn't speak for the people. And uh, you, didn't expect him, you didn't expect him to come and sit here and tell you that the people are happy about it. You know, when I went to Mango Trader, what they said was, he came and gave them paracetamol. They can buy paracetamol. My goodness. But what they can't afford, <laughs> what they can't afford in Mango Trader is to uh, dredge. Paracetamol. Oh, yes. Yes. Really, I mean, Sam wow. George? He Look. went around distributing paracetamol oh. to the people. Oh. I'm not saying, I'm saying this is what I was told in Mango Trader. The people said, he came there, he gave them paracetamol. Okay. But to take the paracetamol, so these can people I, can are I, can they, I mean, These people well, are they being truthful to the two of you? Because in one breath, he says the people are telling him that you've done, actually done a pitiful job. Now you're saying that the people Abba, are saying he can't If you let me land, you realize, you realize, you realize, you realize why. Can these people be trusted? <laughs> well, I trust my people. You because they, they spoke to me in the lead up to the, to the primaries. Okay. And they delivered. They stuck by their word. So I trust them. I believe delegates. in them. No, we had 16,000 people on our register. It was mm. expanded. Okay, it wasn't just the branch executives. We had ordinary people who did not hold portfolio in the NDC. But, but who were sympathizers of the NDC who voted. That okay. said, that said, they said he's given them paracetamol. To take the paracetamol, they need water to take the paracetamol. They don't have water. And so they need to get the water problem fixed. The dams are also another source of water for them. So how are I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Abba, Abba, you see, the thing is, when, when the water rises, 
then it settles. It, it will settle. Sedimentation will happen. Right. It will settle. And you have cleaner water up there. And when they take this water, people boil it before they drink. Mm. Okay, because don't forget, it is rainwater, actually. Is that, that part of the held. dam you're talking okay. about? <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's an old site of the dam. Okay. That's been excavated. Okay. Now, you see, the point here is this. I'm not going to say I'm an expert in dam, dam creation, <laughs> but at least my first degree in Greek engineering, I specialized in soil and water engineering. Mm. And so I do have a fair understanding. I didn't execute this project on my own knowledge. Okay. What I did was I got in touch with people who have the professional skill, who have done this over the years across the country, especially mm. in the northern part of Ghana, where this is a key source of water, mm. to advise us on what to do. And so I trust their competence. Okay. Secondly, the claim that he had told the people to, to, to put something together mm -hmm. and then he would assist with, a, with his widow's mind, and that, that shows leadership, is wrong. You know why? Yeah. Because the people have tried it and they could not do it. In Ahuyam, which has the biggest dam in the constituency, the people had attempted. They sold some of the land. The chief himself got involved, sold some land, and got machines to come in. The cost for a day, when he looked at it and saw the extent of work that had been done in a day, he said it was not sustainable. They would basically sell the whole town just to dredge it. And so it was not sustainable. So it is not correct to say that the people will now go and put together resources for you to come and support. Because the people have tried it and it is not possible. They needed people who could show leadership. Real leadership <laughs> is not asking your people to find a solution and you will come and back them. Real well, leadership... You can find that solution I'm coming. Together. Abba, real leadership you can give is direction. finding... No, Abba, mm -hmm. when your people have tried something mm -hmm. and not succeeded at it, real leadership is not telling them to repeat it again and try. In fact, foolishness has been defined as doing the same thing the same way over a period of time and expecting a different result. Doing the same thing, asking your people to do the same thing again that had failed in the past with the hope that this time there will be a, a, a flash of magic or miracle to make it work is not leadership. Leadership is realizing that my people have tried this. It didn't work. I'm not going to give them that option. I will find another way to get it done. And that is what I have done. If he says people are saying, and then again, Look, there is no leader who will have resource to take care of all the needs of your people. You say we have 16 dam sites. True. So what are you doing as a leader? You are waiting till you get resource to take care of all 16 at the same well, time. Well, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm, look, and people are watching. People who are senior people are watching. You're waiting to get resource to take care of all 16 dams at the same time before you start. Say because he said, time. I'm coming, I'm coming. You, because, say the same time. you know why okay. I'm, you know I'm making that conclusion? Because I he said, say that, if I start in one and I don't go to the next, it raises a problem. Real leadership is Sam George knowing that I've committed to my people. I said to them, this is a project I'm going to start and I will see to the end of it. I do not have the resource to do all, but I'm not going to sit down and fold my hands and expect that I will get a, 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 a truckload of money to come and do it. With the little I have, I will start. When I finish number one, now I've done two. It means there are 14 left. Four, two, two communities have been taking off this problem, okay. and that is what leadership is. Leadership is not sitting down and folding your arms and waiting for a eureka moment. Leadership right. is you seizing the opportunity and creating that eureka moment, okay. and that is what I'm going to present. Talk about eureka moments, because I'm sure once you said that you have personally uh, I, I, I've spoken to Ghana Water, is that it? Yes. Okay. So constantly, he said, constantly he says, in talks. He says there's a project that had been awarded... How many months ago? You, you see, I, I think some three years ago. Three you years see, ago. Yeah, you the, see, the, 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 uh, uh, the so you are, you are claiming expansion. something that is not Abba. attributed Abba. to you or attribu attributable Abba. to you. Abba. Yeah. When the pond water works was done, mm. okay, and you see, this comes down to truthfulness. I was on another platform three or four weeks ago with my brother, and he claimed that there was no such water pipes being laid towards Ningo Pram Pram no, because of please, the three water, please. three district water well, projects. I'll, I'll, I'll talk, you I'll understand talk about it. This was, this was on Metro Good Morning Ghana, hosted by Randy Abbey. Mm. Those who watched were attest to it. He said nothing was being done in that respect and there was a failure of this government. Okay? Now, as you do not know what went into the, the, <laughs> the towns along that line, including the towns covered by the three district water project that have now been captured under this project. This water is going to flow all the way to Konika Blue, <laughs> all the way to Dawa. Who, whose intervention got Ghana Water to do... And this, this pipe laying is not part of the Pond Ex Water Works Expansion Project. It's a completely different project. What project It's is a 48 this? million US dollar World Bank facility that is aimed at expanding water distribution 
within the greater Accra region and the eastern regional plains. If you take, for example, Adenta. Adenta is served by the Pond Water Expansion Project. But you know it is only the housing project where the old pipelines were. The new development areas in Adenta, there are no pipelines there. And so just like the same way in Ngo Pram Pram, you have very old lines which cannot sustain uh, high pressure. Or there's a whole so new they project need to be replaced. which is exactly okay. which is doing this. So they are completely different things. But Abba, again, he speaks about the 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 the, the, the three district water project which supplies water and seeks to revel in it. The point I made is you did a project how many years ago? Five years ago? Ten years ago? Even fifteen years ago. Well, there's and been today, population explosion. Uh, well, about anybody who is doing a project. So you any, think they, any, they should have any, had that foresight? Exactly. Today, okay. today we have added 1.2 million gallons of water in the five district project in, which covers the Chebi and Osinasi area. Today, the demand for water there is 500,000 gallons of water. Okay. But the John Mahama administration has put in place a five water district project that is pumping one point, that has the capacity to pump 1.2 million. It is taking into consideration the next 20 years of development and, right. and expansion. Slide. That is what a government that is changing lives and transforming Ghana Nana. like John Mahama's will do. Nana, and that Nana, is what Nana, I represent. Nana, 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 I right. challenge my brother. Mm -hmm. Everybody is watching on this program. Mm -hmm. I said the pond water expansion ends at Old Ningo. It ends at Old Ningo. It doesn't go beyond. Sam, does it end in Old Ningo? It, ends it goes all please, the way Nana, to Dawa. Nana, the I, pipes, please, look, please. The pipes please. from there, oh, look. Nana, from Nana, Old Ningo, okay. Abba, Abba, I from Old Ningo, I'm coming. Let me have my time. Let me just make this point. From Old Ningo to Ahuyam. From Old Ningo to Ahuyam is about 2.5 kilometers. Already, the pipes have gotten to Ahuyam from Old Ningo. Let me wrap up because I want to talk about roads. Nana, 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 I challenge him to produce the contract and a contractor who is to do the expansion to that site. Look, the pipes Please. are currently at Ahuyam. Under whose instructions? And who, who is the contractor? I, I said the pipes are at Ahuyam. Who is the, the contractor? people of Ahuyam are watching us. Please. It has gotten to Wuda site. No, the Wuda site. Is it, what he doesn't know. Let me. <laughs> na, 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 na. The Wuda site is talking about is part of the old Ningo water project. When we did the, when we did the three water project, eh, it ends at Ahuyam. It didn't get even to the clinic. Oh, my we put the clinic under the Ghana water project. I dare my brother and I challenge him to bring the contract and the so-called pipes he's talking about, that, that his intervention. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Please. It's the same thing he went to Afienya. Afienya, uh, 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 we talk about rules. But let me tell him that when we are talking of water in Ningo Pram Pram, I, say, I said on Good Morning Ghana with him mm -hmm. that from Afienya, it's, under, it's, it's still in the constituency, it's under the uh, bomb water expansion. It ends at Old Ningo. And that is it. He should produce a contract that says that it goes up, up to, to, to Dawa. That is a palpable lie. It is not true. He should, I challenge you to produce a contract. And which contractor is doing that kind of job? Please, let's be honest and truthful to ourselves. Look, I've lived in that constituency long before he started politics in that constituency. And you I don't live in the constituency. Please, you, you live in please, Tema. So please, stop throwing brother, dust into the brother. eyes of people. So when you talk like this, when you talk <laughs> you live like this. You live in Tema, you have lived there long before. You live in look, Tema. I, look, please. When you talk, when <laughs> you talk, you make you your talk like this. Nanaba. I'm telling Sam mm -hmm. that he's saying that this is personal intervention to get such a big project done. How did he do that? Let's be honest with our people. That <laughs> That's is the my same benefit way. in government for my people. Oh, my goodness. I said in 2010, you ask people to write names for them to be trained we'll in oil and jobs gas. Very it's there. Okay. Nana, let yes. me be honest. Please. People are watching. The good people of Ningo Pram Pram. Those in the old Ningo are here. I'm to let know. They know that there's no pipe extension of water under Ghana water uh, uh, in that area. It is true. He should bring the contract. He's really, a, don't read from your phone. Bring the contract. I challenge you. Bring I mean, the contract. I mean, this, to is, this, is, this is a very naive way of bring talking. Your you tell bring me to bring a government contract. Well, onto, 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 it's a public document. Okay. What are you okay. talking about? It's a public document. It's not true. It's like me asking you to bring the document of the of the, of the three go district on project. And make your next <laughs> How intelligent please. is that? To ask you to bring the, the contract oh, document Sam, of the three district project. Me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, you need to be Nana, very Nana, truthful Nana, to our people. Go ahead. Tell me that I should go and bring the contract document. Sam, oh, Sam, what is, what is the fast about the contract document? We need do to you have the contract document of the three district projects under President Kufu? I'm asking you. Do I have the contract? Do you have the contract here? It is a public record. We can produce it. Do you have the contract here? I can get it. The measure by which you want to measure others, you should be ready to be measured by. Stop throwing that. And I'm telling you that oh, look, based on what we have signed as a government, I can where? give you Produce all it. the towns and it's well, in our green book. Why cannot produce it right now? It's in our green book. And I can read from our green book, which what is online. His our green book is online. Propaganda book? Oh, okay. You want a document. I want a contract. 
contract between my green book my please, green book please, is online please, please. it's a government document it's on Which the ministry document? of communication it's, a it's on the document. ministry of communication well, website make my point. No, no, let me make my point please go ahead <laughs> i'm <laughs> telling him that from after uh, 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 the the site that is the old ningo clinic from Ahuyam up to Lekongno, there is no such facility going on. There is no pipe anywhere that they are going to bury under, uh, underground for water. Under Ghana water. There isn't, any, there, isn't, there isn't anything like that. Let's be factual. And this is a fact. You can go to Old Ningo, go to Ahuyam and ask them. Please. So these are verifiable facts that you can't run away from. Abba. Back to, back oh, to, back to what he's saying. He made a, he made, he made he a comment. He has one minute to finish He made a comment that... that mm -hmm. It is not leadership to say that you want to partner your community to bring development. I'm not a member of party. I've accepted the fact that I don't have that kind of funding. And if I want to support you, I'm not a member of parliament. I'm not in government. Okay? I've made it clear that you have a challenge. I'm not yet a member of parliament that ha assesses a fund to develop the community. From my widow's might, put yourself together. I will assist you to do this professionally. How did you want to score cheap political points? I didn't want to do that. And well, again, how he said... How is a political point if, if whatever intervention he's made is look, helping the people? It can't well, be a cheap political Let me tell you something. Point. If it's done properly, mm -hmm. that is fair enough. But the kind of things we are talking about, go there. I've had meetings with the people after he's gone there. But we saw but pictures Nanaba, of people fetching water from the Nanaba, dam. I told you, I told done, you, I told you, I told you yeah. before this job, mm -hmm. if it rains, it holds water. If it rains... Is it that deep, though? It's still not deep. <laughs> Please. <laughs> How deep is this? I can I can tell. You so can then tell. You Nobody cannot, else can. So you but cannot please, tell I'm that telling you, there's same people who went to do it. Of they can't. Let me let me, let me go back to something he said here. Let me go back to something he said here. Okay. You see, Quickly. we cannot uh, toil with the lives of our people. We must be very honest in whatever we say, and let's present our, uh, 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 our point clear. Look, in Ningo, mm -hmm. when you get to uh, site from site as i said before out to dawa and all this i didn't say that we have 16 dam sites in and around those places i said there are communities that are in need of this uh, 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 dam site there about the three district water project i mentioned i made mention of it is true that currently the water is not flowing as it's supposed to flow the booster station at dawa is the main cause i've been to the office i've, I've found out why the, the people are not getting water the booster station has outlived its use after 15 years it is only proper that you do maintenance and get the, the people the water. In any case, when I went, and he's saying that I went to give the people paracetamol, be honest and truthful. Manaba, your health, my consent project, it is not a joke. I went with professionals, medical doctors, qualified doctors. I went with drugs. I served people who had prescriptions over three weeks. In their homes, they couldn't afford to buy the medication. We provided them medication. Go to Pram Pram yeah, uh, just last Monday. We did the same day. These are things that everybody can verify. So you just don't come sit on air to say that I went to offer people paracetamol. Please. Abba, okay. I'm reading, from, I'm reading from the Green Book, and it says ah, that... When you're done, proper, uh, when you're done I will this read proper, mine. So yes. go ahead. It says, it and, 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 and it says that, <laughs> All right. in addition, that's to uh, uh, the water project, that's there, I can't read the whole thing. It says, in addition, 92 kilometers of transmission and distribution pipelines have been laid to Ashiaman Bichile, Ashiaman Bethlehem, Ajay Kojo, Ningo, Pram Pram, Krobo, and the Ikapim Ridge area. When completed, the project will improve water supply to almost 70 communities in both the Greater Accra region and the Eastern region. This include Michelle Camp, Afienya, which starts in our constituency, Bone, which is not in our constituency, Pram Pram, which is in our constituency, Old Ningo, which is in our constituency, New Ningo, which is in our constituency, Ayitepa, which is even after Ahuyam, wow, wow. Bono, which is read, again read after Ayitepa, or Mankope, which is the last <laughs> town at Lepouno. So if anybody tells you that the project will not go beyond is not the last old town Ningo. No. Is not the last in, 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 in the Lepouno <laughs> five cluster of towns, Omankope okay. is the very last one there. Right. Right. Before you get to Listen me. to what he read. You get me. Listen so, to what he read. Nanaba, another another Nanaba, Nanaba, water Nanaba, expansion. Oh. He said is, is, I thought the, he said the pipe lane is going to end at Ningo. How come you let pipe that ends at Ningo? That will supply water to Aitepa. Life. Please, let's be serious. Ooh, this is a propaganda ooh, material. The ooh, document has spoken today <laughs> about the Ningo <laughs> propaganda material. And the Pram -Pram it will not fly area. in the face of. Abba. Please. Who should I listen Abba. to? Abba. I, I thought. No, who did you? Who, did you, who have you asked to speak? <laughs> you. Fantastic. So you should know Slide, who you should please. listen to. Thank you. You see, Abba. <laughs>
The f you see, and, and Sly, Sly is getting too excited, such that he's not even listening to what I read. <laughs> what I read said, he gave areas, Ashiaman, Ningo, uh, Pram Pram, uh, and then went on to say 70 communities will benefit, and then started <laughs> listing the communities. Ningo is a traditional area. Pram Pram <laughs> is a traditional <laughs> area. And that's why when he listed the communities, he mentioned Afienya, which is under the Pram Pram traditional area. He mentions <laughs> Dowenya, mentions Pram Pram itself. And when he gets to Ningo, it speaks about old and new Ningo, speaks about Aitepa, Pouno, and Omankope, which are all under the Ningo traditional area. So there's no confusion here. And look, who do we believe more? A government that is executing a project, that has put out a public document, or a young man like myself who has political ambitions and will say every and anything to discredit what he sees as opposition. Okay. The bottom line here is this. When it comes to water, there is a real challenge. We Let's won't run away from it. I have con continued on my birthday. I gave 60,000 gallons of water to really? people. Really? Yes. As, as, that's how I celebrated my birthday. I see. Because for me, it's about touching yes, the scoring real... Points. It's about touching... No, it's not about scoring points. It's about touching the real needs of okay. my people another and delivering need, on that. Another need, I think we've overstayed on water. Another need, it's um, the state of roads in Ningo from Prom constituency. And I'm going to show you some uh, visuals in the chat about the state of roads in that constituency. And it's coming up in 54321. Oh, I thought you would play along with me. <laughs> but the roads are coming up shortly. Um, Sly, I'll give you the opportunity to start with this one. Did the Honorable E. T. Mensah help in any way, because it's not the MP's job to construct roads, yeah. but did he help in any way to facilitate the construction of these roads? Well, uh, currently, uh, we have a challenge when it comes to road network in a constituency. I know for so a fact... So he didn't work on that? No, we, we have a challenge. But mm -hmm. I mean, if you recall, under his, uh, when he was a member of parliament, I can't be specific as to which role he played in mm -hmm. getting the road from Dawenya mm -hmm. to Pram Pram uh, re uh, 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 tiled again. I mean, before it was it was not too good. It wasn't Yiti who constructed it anyway, of but course. he got but he got it retired. So I can't be specific as to what intervention he put in there. Besides that, and the Pram Pram Town Road. Besides that, when you go to Afienya to Dawenya, that road. Is, a, is, is very, very bad, in a very deplorable state. And sadly, every election cycle, you see machines on that road, being that the road is under construction. Currently, there used to be some four machines there. Currently, there's only one left on the road, under the same guise that the roads will be done. If you go from Old Ningo to, to uh, uh, Chopoli, it's also worse. Part of it was constructed after three months the road started uh, uh, peeling off. So the chiefs had to hold a press conference and say, look, we don't want this kind of road. It's thought, it's there. From Ahyam mm -hmm. to Lekunguno, which is the longest stretch in terms of bad roads in the constituency, uh, currently there's machines on site. But that contractor had been on that road for more than four years. And that stretch of road, I understand, is, is in phases, that, uh, uh, but it's, it's ongoing currently. I pray that it doesn't get stored like uh, previously, that when it's getting to elections, they will come put machines on it and all that. So uh, I think that the nature of roads in the constituency is quite deplorable. But there is something going on. I was in uh, 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 a Fienya stretch of road mm -hmm. the last time. And somebody this is a beautiful road. Which yes. one is this? Yeah, this, is, this is the this road is from Old Ningo, Old from Ningo. New, going to New Ningo and then headed up to This Old is of the bridge. This is about two kilometer asphaltic road from Pram Pram uh, 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 to Old Ningo. Right. It, it doesn't go beyond that. But this is the city, uh, city center. But beyond that, these are the areas I'm telling you from Old Ningo uh, mm -hmm. to Lepongono. Very deplorable. Besides that, apart from these three major roads I've made mention of, you go to the hinterlands from uh, uh, Chopoli to Pachremido. You go to the farm roads that brings us the food. Look, I remember in 2008, it took an intervention of an MPP parliamentary candidate to connect a, 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 a village. Because when it rains, the whole village is cut off, depending on where you are. You sleep at the other side of the, of the, of the community, mm -hmm. called Amanako. It took the intervention of the MPP candidate then to get the road fixed. But even that, we still need to work on that road. Apart from that, there are so many areas that need to... to so to, what is to your work. promise to your people well, about Nanaba, these roads? These roads, there are certain roads that under the MP, perhaps I'll be able to do something about it. But the major roads that we are seeing in the constituency, it goes beyond the MP. All you can of do... Of course, it's for the state. It's for the state. Okay. All you can do is to lobby. 
and put in an, uh, 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 make an advocate, be an advocate for the people. Let the world know, let the central government know that this is a challenge of my constituency. This road is so crucial to our development. Let central government get the year uh, down and get it fixed. Back to the Afenia Road, I was told that somebody had gone there, asked people who were affected in the construction of the road to put their names together. Somebody? Some George. So why do you say somebody? Well, I'm coming. I said somebody because I had to find out who really did that. Because a woman walked to me. I mean, I'm just telling you. He said somebody. So he thought it was me. So ah, right. Yeah, he thought it was me. So he came. He said, ah, but you came to ask. Uh, you came. You were here. You asked us to write our names. Those of us who were affected. You get the president to get uh, our compensations paid. I said, oh, I, I, I can't recall uh, doing something like this. So I find out from a few guys around. And what I got to know is that Sam was there and promised the people he was going to get the president uh, a sign for the compensation for those people to be paid. Later, on that road, I was on Metro TV with him. It was specific that contractor had been on site for 16 months. They've given the contract to somebody for 16 months. My checks indicate that in 2015, April uh, uh, 4th, the community wrote that this is like a ritual. When it's coming, for elections are coming. You see machines on the road attempting to do the road. So they wrote to That's the ministry. That's very characteristic of yes, the Yes, they, they, they wrote to the ministry mm. to know who the contractor is, whether or not the contract has been awarded. There's a response from the ministry that, in fact, they can't be sure whether or not that road has been awarded for contract. They should give them time to find out whether that road has been awarded. Okay. Uh, 2015, March, no response had come to the people. So I'm not surprised. These are things that, uh, if you go to the road, there's okay. a signboard on the road that Ghana government is uh, 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 working on that road. So but who, the ministry, who put it there? That's what we don't know. The okay. ministry is saying that they are not aware whether or not that okay. road has been awarded. Thank you. On Sam George, is that so somebody please. you? Okay. Now, that's what somebody told me. Coming to the real <laughs> issues of road. Mm. I must say that the people of Ningo Pram Pram do have some challenges with some of our major roads. Mm. However, we remain grateful to the administration of His Excellency John Mahama. When under the Streets of Tema project, our constituency has had a considerable portion of our roads laid with asphalt. Mm. Um, that starts from the <laughs> that start from the Waterworks Junction all the way into Lower Town and stretches also through the town planning road all the way takes us to New Ningo, to Old Ningo, and it's going to end at the clinic, the Old Ningo Clinic. And then some parts of the Old Ningo roads around the police station are also being worked on. We're grateful for that. However, it is not sufficient. We do have challenges with our road network that need to be worked on. Um, portions of the road from Old Ningo through to Chopoli, which will end up going all the way to Panchredo, and all of that were started. The project has stalled. There is Why? the need. Well, it, it comes down to contractors deserting site okay. and all of that. There is the need to have these contractors well resourced by government. Again, it is not the responsibility of a member of parliament to construct roads. Absolutely However, not. the member of parliament has a key role to play in lobbying, lobbying whichever government is in power mm -hmm. to ensure that you get a fair share of development mm -hmm. to your people. And so for me, what I've told my people is that I can promise them that I would be a vociferous lobbyist for the people of Ningo Pram Pram. We are going to continue to ensure that we, ex we, we, we play whatever role we can. The road from Mango Chonya to Lepono, it was originally Mango Chonya to Lepono. Mm. I spoke to the contractor, I.B. Megida, and this was some three years, two, two, and two years ago. <laughs> I spoke to I.B. Megida two years ago and said, there's another two kilometers that had been given to a contractor called FACO from Ahiam to Mangochonya. Why don't we add it and make at least a considerable effort in there? He wrote to the Ministry of Roads and Highways. Our request has been acceded. It's interesting, and I hope that many of the people who are watching this show watched my show with Sly on Metro TV. Mm -hmm. Sly said no work was being done, so much so that I actually went and took pictures of the road and construction works ongoing on that road and sent it to Randy subsequently after the show to prove to Randy that when I said that work was going on on that show, I was telling the truth. On, on that road, I was telling the truth. Because on that show, he claimed that nothing had been done. And I said, look, road, the road had been expanded. 
places like Pono where there was just a two lane, two lanes of, of, of culvert bridge built. It had been doubled and it had become a four lane culvert. And now the man was building culverts to allow the, 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 the rainwater that is, or, or groundwater that is going to run into the sea, access parts so that they don't wash off the road. My brother said that nothing of that nature was happening. Today, I'm grateful that he's finally visited a constituency and seen oh. that truthfully, I be, because the contractor was very, was, okay. was upset. Please, so please. just like you I asked him, what is your promise to the people as far as these nah. roads are concerned? Because my, I have two my, other my, issues. My, my promise to, to the back. people, my promise to the people is that mm. as I've started working and delivering on my promise in the water sector, <laughs> it is the same thing I will do with roads. And if you speak to the Minister of Roads and Highways, he will tell you that maybe I'm becoming one of the most troublesome visitors to his office and to his phone because I'm constantly in touch with him and the director of Urban Roads and insisting that they fix the roads. The road from Afenia to Dawinia, my brother spoke about. Let me, and I'll end there. Mm -hmm. He says that I said people should get compensation. Originally, the people were told there would be no compensation. Mm -hmm. And the people were agitated. I went and spoke to the opinion leader, Anasafuache at Dawinia. And he put the case before me and said, my people are agitated. Houses are going to be affected. And government says they won't pay compensation. Some of these houses have been there for 70 years. They are, it is not a road reservation. It's just that the new road is being expanded. And so you need to take out some of those houses. The people deserve a, com a compensation. I went and made a complaint to the deputy chief of staff. And this is public record because the people know. Okay. And the, the deputy chief of staff spoke to the roads minister. The roads minister spoke to the Asafuache himself, not Sam George, and told him that, look, I am going to instruct the district chief executive to move with the district engineer, one Mr. Chiko, to go in there, take down the houses that have been affected. So when are they evaluation. going to be compensated? Abba, anybody who has paid, received compensation from government knows that government compensation is not a four months or six of months or 12 months thing. The processes are being done. Has the district engineer gone there? to do evaluation of the houses before the demolitions were done? Fantastic. Yes. They went, they took the district, not Sam George, the district mm -hmm. engineer and the district chief executive went there, took pictures of the houses that were to be demolished, valued them and agreed on valuations with the owners of those houses. Okay. Thanks to my intervention, but it is not Sam George who is going to, and I didn't say the president okay, was going to do anything. Okay, let me take some messages. These are 10 minutes. There are people in your constituency who are sending me questions. 30 seconds. Sly. 30 seconds. He said that I said on Metro TV that nothing is better. I repeated here. That I, have the I have that the contractor, that contractor, contractor the Abba, Abba, that if contractor, contractor had been on the road for four years, it's not true. It's not true. Okay. Under Look. the MPP's eight Look. years, there were seven contractors on that road who ran away. Abba. If you have Name a contractor, two. if you Name have, if you have a contractor okay. who came Name to the two site two in 24 Name months and has it worked and done what he has done, it is not 24 months. Then you tell me it's a ritual. It is a ritual. It is a ritual. Every election cycle, that is what they do. Okay, gentlemen. I never said. Let me take some 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 messages here. It is ritual. Okay, John. John, what you do? He's heckling me and also heckling you. Now you're reading messages. He's also heckling you. He cannot heckle me. He can't fit. Nobody can heckle me. All right. So let me take some messages here. John Tete is texting from your constituency our roads please don't let them joke with our roads because yeah. from ningo to chopoli <laughs> to patemed panchendo panchendo to yeah. lekono 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 okay are not good roads all right um um mensa papite says nana but thank you for bringing these two gentlemen together i live in ningo and i must say that indeed what some george said earlier is actually the truth the dredging has been done and it is helping us. <laughs> Sly should stop the politics. What I am not politics? MPP or NDC, but what he said is true. All right. Um, on my birthday, I gave 60,000 gallons. Somebody's congratulating you for that. Um, Sam George is a very tactical and strategic uh, gentleman, and he's doing so with his assertions. But he's so animated. Because I'm passionate about the things that <laughs> affect my Indeed. people. My heart is broken by the things that break the hearts of the people of Nigo Pram Pram. And this is a question for you, Sly. No. Can he touch on the multiple land sales and rampant land guard feuds in our constituency because it is bad? Is this a problem in your constituency? Well, land it, guard? it is a problem. And mm -hmm. I mean, this person didn't finish it. <laughs> it's a problem with issue with land guards. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's something that we need to tackle and tackle very well. Some people uh, lives have been taken, some have been shot okay. in that constituency. It boils down to security, right. how we tackle security in the constituency. That, uh, and we also have to talk to the chiefs to be careful how they do multiple sales of land and all that. We can't do anything except the security is resource enough to 
close down on Absolutely. these people and then and get okay them. let me go on uh victor savivo who lives in the constituency said nana but indeed some george managed to dredge the two big dams We're that are this. serving two big communities hey. in this constituency this is, not coming, this is coming from somebody Nanaba. who, who says he lives Nanaba. in the Nanaba. community. He doesn't even know the site. Who? This uh, the water. The person texting Yes, he doesn't, doesn't even know, know the damn site. Let me tell you something. Ah, the person is living there and texting oh, it. Please, tweeting, please, you're please, saying they please. don't. Nanaba, let me tell mm. you something. When you, this water is not water that people can consume. Okay. It's meant for farming activities. Okay. It's meant for farming acti activities. All right. So if you say serving the community. It, All right. You see, there's, there's a gentleman who sent me a text, and I'll identify him so that it's public record. He, he's called Noah. Noah, can Noah. Can I see it? Th there you so are. So you don't... Yes, there you are. You can read a text message. Noah Ningo. Sylvester seemed to be biased in all his speeches because I was biased? there at the Methodist school at Ningo Prom Prom 2012 when he lambasted E.T. Mensa seriously in oh, the absence this of... Is, this e. is his he's boy. A youth organ he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a youth organizer. Wait, he's, he's, a, he's a youth... A, he's, he's, he's a party he's, member. No, he's a youth, no, 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 but he's no, no, a youth no, 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 organizer no, 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 of New Ningo North. Uh -huh. branch. Of the NDC. And so if he says he's not there, that's his testament. Obviously, but is he not in the party? There is no school called... There is no school called Ningo Prom Prom Methodist. Oh. So there's no method. No, 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 no. Nobody said. Did you, no, did you read Nigo? Did, did you read Nigo? Prom Prom Methodist. He did not read Nigo. Prom Prom Methodist. He says. He says at the Methodist school. Read it yourself. Yeah, there's no Nigo Prom Prom. Read it. New Nigo at New Nigo Methodist school. This is an NDC. This is an NDC boy. He's expected to text him without the wife. First he says Nigo Prom Prom when there was no Nigo Prom Prom. Right. It is not true. You said Prom Prom. You said Prom Prom Methodist. Yeah, you said Prom Prom. All right, please. Fresh man. He's a Nigo. The two of you. Please, how do you say calm down in Dangwe? Oh, Natri. Natri, please. Natri is Dangwe. Natri is Ghana. Okay. <laughs> Fresh magic. I think the battle for Ningo Prom Prom is useless if the leaders fight amongst themselves. Well, they are actually debating issues. They are not fighting. The Ningo Prom Prom constituency is being focused on today, and that's Randolph speaking. Um, I'll go for some more messages here. Um, who, to whom much is given, much is expected. Um... Somebody's actually talking about the state of roads in your constituency. Sure. Um, Ningo Pram Pram's problem doesn't lie in roads only. There are more Shall issues it. there uh, that are stalling the development of our constituency. Um, Benjamin Yamwa, um, I'm not sure I would want to read your message, but I acknowledge it. Our roads are in a deplorable state. I, I want to vote for the one amongst the two who would convince me that they can fix our roads. Well, there's an assembly member, fix. assembly member, who sent a text. I'll read it myself. Read it. This is an can assembly member. That, that's his campaign manager. He's an uh, MPP. He's an MPP member. An MPP no, person. Who's an assembly who is member? Campaign at least in Which his capacity. Which of them should I read? Read, read it. The yeah, last one. Pan is Tingo. Pan is Tingo. As an assembly member of the district, I can say emphatically that it's only as old as Tingo. He's talking about the water project. Yes. The people of Ningo Pram Pram, uh, we are grateful to Sylvester for his free medical screening for us. We were set uh, more than paracetamol, what some said. Uh, but no, really. the, the emphasis is that he's an assembly member. He's speaking in his capacity as an assembly Aba, member. The okay. gentleman in question, Pani is Tingo, campaign manager? Not. just last week was he's in not. Lume Togo with you campaigning. Oh, Why are you campaigning in Togo? Can, he went you, to meet, he went to can you imagine community. this? We have a huge fishing community from Ningo in there. Oh, Tell right. him to deny it on national no, TV. No, 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 no. Were you in Lome Togo last week? Were you, were you, not, were you no, there? No, no. I said that he's speaking in his capacity. Were you there, yes or no? Can you Tingo goes to campaign with you in Lome and sends him a message that you want to camouflage him as an assembly member? his capacity as an assembly member? We see through the hypocrisy, my brother. Are you your youth organizer text you and they got it read on the program? I identified him as my youth organizer. I didn't identify him. Uh, right. else. I I'm said going he spoke in his break. capacity as an assembly member. All right. That's a fact. Okay, I, I want neutral people to text you. <laughs> you're, you're <getting laughs> the neutrals, the neutrals, the neutrals have sent you a message. Me and, here. and I think that okay. it, it is highly right. skewed in my we favor. We are going to take a break, but before then, Tanko Osman says the Afienya Dowinya Road is just terrible. Yeah. Um, Millicent Abochi says, um, well, uh, Exactly, dear. People should grow up. I don't know what you're talking about, but I think you're reacting to uh, a statement from somebody else on Twitter. Okay, this is coming from Anthony Ajari, who says that, please tell Sly, he can't go on and on saying he's humble. Sam George is a confident young man. It doesn't make him arrogant. Okay. 
Okay, there's another <laughs> one here uh, before we take a break. Due to our timid nature, we misconstrue confidence for arrogance. Wow. This is coming from Duncan E.K. Gabla. And Zulu says, can <laughs> any of them touch on the... Okay, I think that question has already been answered. It was about the lands. Please, Nana, let our men come down to the truth. Then we'll know who is telling the truth. Okay. All right. Uh, so the Satata is behaving like a fish out of water. I can't stop <laughs> laughing. Uh, <laughs> who said Sam George is arrogant? Come on, he's not. When someone is confident, we always Nobody say that the person arrogant. is uh, arrogant. <laughs> well, I don't think he said he was arrogant. Well, okay. he implied it in his initial opening comments. Oh, I just chose to let it go. Okay. Because I knew the people will see through it, and they have. All right. <laughs> Let's take a break <laughs> now. <laughs> we'll come back. Because when I come back, I want us to talk about employment or unemployment, and also school infrastructure. And we have just 15 minutes to do that. So when we come back and I say enough, I hope you would please accord me that little respect I'm demanding of the two of you. We'll be right back. This is State of Affairs and its constituency watch only on GH1 TV. Stay with us. You're welcome back. And I will move away from the roads to talk about unemployment. And some George is a problem in you. But it's no. not just a problem you see, with people. They are coming from the same I, I thought you asked us to be disciplined <laughs> now. Yes, yes, so I, I hope we can all be it's disciplined. A problem, it's a problem that is bedeviling the entire country. I mean, it's, it's a headache for all of us. But of course, I want us to concentrate on Ningo. What is your plan if you win the seat? What will be your plan to solve unemployment? I mean, not, you cannot solve it on your own, but what, what is your plan for unemployment in that area? In fact, when I ran for the primaries, mm -hmm. I campaigned on two things, mm -hmm. only two things. I made two promises only to my mm -hmm. people, and so they know what my plan is. Mm -hmm. One was on employment. I said they should judge me in four years on how many jobs we were able to create locally, mm -hmm. and then what our contribution to education will be in the constituency. On employment, my first degree is in agri engineering. I'm basically a tractor engineer, a farmer, as I was called by my friend Anthony Cabo. But what that gives me is it gives me an insight into the potential that we hold in my constituency. We have vast amounts of arable land. I've spoken to the traditional council and they are willing to support our drive to turn Ningo Pram Pram into a food basket or into the, the main basket that is going to provide the raw material for the alcoholic beverage industry. The alcoholic beverage industry today, one of the key ingredients is a certain species of cassava. Mm. It, grows every, it grows in three months, so you can plant it four times a year. Now, it is not necessarily edible for fufu, but it is used in the production of most of the alcoholic beverages we, 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 we see on the market today. In fact, the local demand or local supply cannot match demand. And so some of the alcoholic companies have to go to Burkina Faso and Ivory Coast. We will farm that in our constituency. It is possible. And in fact, there's a, there's a, there's, there's a, a test case that has been proven under the YES program by His Excellency the President. A young man who took a loan of 50,000 Ghana cities to go into the, 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 the cultivation of that species of cassava in three months went back to YES and paid off the 50,000 CD loan because there is a ready market for it. So agriculture okay, so is a key thing. from your constituency. Well, well these this are people who are um, doing the, what we call, Kita school boys ah, along right. the lake. Yeah. Okay. But then, I mean, that's see, the mainstay for Ningo, well, right? Fishing, fishing, and, fishing farming. and farming right. are, are the, the mainstays main okay. there. And so there again, I'm looking at being, making us realize that there is the need for us to till our land. It's decent work. The boys will get paid well and we'll be able to produce and it is self-respecting. Again, our place is becoming, there's, there's a fantastic project ongoing by a private Ghanaian individual, the Dawa Industrial Complex, right. okay, which is a 2,000 acre industrial complex. This is a young a Ghanaian entrepreneur who is committed to working with us to ensuring that we provide training for the young men and women in our constituency. There are factories there, you see, brah, that is employing over, over 150 young people in our constituency. Those are the kind of things I'm looking to do. And that's what I promised my people. And we will deliver on them. Because to do the farming on a large scale, we would write to EDIF mm. for, the, for the financial support to be able to irrigate the land properly, to be able to get the, the, the machinery, the agricultural mm. machinery we need to be able to do large scale farming. Okay, thank With you. EDIF support, we will create Nothing less than 3,000 jobs because it's been done. Just in the next constituency, Okujetua Blackwell's constituency, the, the Mahatma Banana Farms 
employs a thousand young men and women every day. Okay. Just a one farm, right. one, one banana farm plantation. Okay. We can replicate it in Ingo Pram Pram and we will do it. Thank you. Sly, your plan for unemployment. Uh, nana, nana, to deal with unemployment. Nana, 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 yes. You see, when you come to Ningo Pram Pram, there is a problem. The problem is that we're talking of employment. Mm -hmm. The people need to have skills. We need to get them trained mm -hmm. to have skills. It's two tier. What I've told my people and I keep telling them is that look, to even work on plants, you need to have some skills in machinery. You need mm -hmm. to have some skills. Technical and vocational skills should be tackled in the constituency. That is okay. what I've said. If I become a member of parliament, the first thing I will do is to establish an educational and youth empowerment trust fund. Right. This fund will seek to support the youth in our constituency. <laughs> when you come to Pram Pram, we have a RTC vocational school, a training program. It's a sorry sight to watch today. When you go to Afinia, it's the same. These are training centers that need to be upgraded to absorb the, the, the unskilled young ones of our area. Train them. Talk of agriculture is key to me. Already, the kind of uh, intervention I want to do is this. We don't have, the traditional council doesn't have a land. Mm -hmm. We have farm, uh, 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 family lands. Government, first of all, must move in because it's so close to Accra. People are buying it. They are selling the land at a very faster pace. Right. In no time, we may not have land for farming. So what we have to do immediately, and that I'll push central government to do, is to create land banks, acquire the land from the, uh, the, the, the owners of the land, pay them compensation, and reserve the land for agriculture purposes. And that you can be sure, that this land is meant for agriculture. Otherwise, in the next 10 years, in the next 5 years, the whole land will be gone. Go there and see the extent of land sale in the area. So that is how I will tackle it. And come to technical and vocational education in a place. It is a, uh, a priority to me. And also to set up, there is no market in the entire area. Already we have farmers, uh, 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 fisher, uh, uh, Fishermen, mm -hmm. crops, livestock. One of the major challenges in our area is access to market. What I will do as an MP, and that is not beyond my capacity to do, is to create an economic hub for the people. All create right. a market for the people. Let the people have a place they can sell and buy. Other people can come in there. In the area of agriculture, to get the youth into agriculture, there are basic things that we need to do first to get people attracted to agriculture, like irrigation. We need okay. to irrigate our land and get a ready farmland for our people. If we don't do that and get them credit, with all that we are talking about, if central government policy is not geared towards the drive for agriculture, it will be a mirage. It will be a mirage. Okay. That is why it is important that we get seconds. them credit. Okay. We get them credit facility to, to, to farm. We get them ready land irrigated for people to farm. Otherwise, all the fine farm, farm plans that we're talking about will be a mirage. That is why I'm saying that. Look, I can promise heavens, okay. but I will assist the farmers. And one of the things I will do in agriculture in the area, and I will do it okay. in my first time as a member of parliament, to establish an agri mechanization center. This center will be a center of training. This is a center You're that... You're very ambitious. Yes, okay. of course. These are you things that the people need. Come please come on from this. <laughs> please, these are things well, people I'm can sure do. The other... Look, All right, thank you. If you set up the, the agri mechanization center, Look, it, it's time for people to plow. Go to the areas and see how All they right. are suffering. All right. 30 Thank seconds you. 30 I requested seconds. for. Yes. You see, talk is cheap. You can't just say that we need to revamp the ROTC in Pram Pram and Afia New Leadership Institute. How are you going to revamp it? No MP. Let's be truthful to our people. No Ooh, MP nice. has sufficient common fund to revamp Afia Youth Leadership Institute Please. or Pram Pram Please. ROTC. But, but, but the so, MP has see, a fund to so, so employ 3,000 So now let me tell you, now let me, now 3, let me tell people. you how Please. I have taken but proactive steps already. Ask me I how went to, do to the Ministry of Education <laughs> and asked them, can Get Fund intervene? Then they tell me no, because the, the TVET institutions are not under the right. Ministry of Education. Of they have now been moved under the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations. I have met Honorable Haruna, who tells me that there is some funding which is coming okay. to support and revamp so, so, right. so, 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 the institutes. It is the person <laughs> who can find a solution. Look, if you have two <laughs> people, if you have two people who are looking for, who are looking for solutions, you've gone past and thirty seconds. I rest my case. Thank you very much. You are done. Disciplined. You are done, Sly. You're, you're, <laughs> you should get commendation for being disciplined. You've done well. Thank you. Well done. And Sly has done well too for listening to me. All right, we have to um, uh, go on now um, to talk about something else that I, I put down. School, and I have just five minutes, four minutes actually. To wrap up, and uh, I have to apologize that unfortunately I cannot bring you Benefson's countdown uh, for this Friday and we'll do the countdown from Monday to Thursday. But let's talk about school, education. Um, four minutes. You have just one minute. For me, like I said already, I told my people that my MP's common fund is going to be an educational fund. 
where we're going to invest in infrastructure and give scholarships to our children to ensure. Because I told them that I am a typical example of where education can take you to. Okay, my grandfather was a fisherman. My grandmother sold kinky. But they